Hey guys, what's going on? So, as most of you guys already know, we do have this special Tiger package, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit, give my thoughts on it, see if it's uh, worth it. We're gonna quickly go over the light and dark tigers because that's obviously the focus of it. I'm pretty sure I did a Tiger review already, but I can't remember if I included the light and dark, so we're gonna quickly go over them again. Uh, the light one I already checked out, and he is actually pretty awesome. A two turn sleep, 100% chance on a critical hit. So it's kind of like a weaker version of Shura, I guess, as far as CC is concerned, because Water Shura has two turns stun on a critical hit. But regardless, two turn sleep is still pretty powerful as long as you're manually controlling your Ashramons, which you typically are in Ashramon League where he would be really good there. And then he has the Hunter skill on the five star, which is always good, just more damage. Again, quite similar to Shura because Shura just has a damage buff there as well. I don't think it's critical hit damage, but it's like just straight damage, which I think might actually be a little bit better. Another difference, obviously, is their element. Water Shura's water, light Tiger's light, and the fact that Shura is single target, whereas he is AoE. So I guess they can't be directly compared, but uh, pretty similar as far as CC is concerned. All around a pretty solid Astromon for Astromon League. And then we have the Dark Tiger, of course. He has Battle Rush. I think the only Nat 4 with Battle Rush. I thought this was a Nat 5 exclusive, but apparently not. And then we have the uh, 5 star, 2 turn, 60% attack down, which uh, is okay. I mean, it's pretty average. Uh, chances there and turn count. I think all around the light one is actually a little bit better. Battle Rush is cool, but it's not like epic. He is a tank, which means he can survive a lot longer and get off some more of those attack downs because of the uh, Battle Rush skill. But probably if you don't have a Water Shura, I would actually stick with the uh, Light Tiger if you really want a good CC Astromon because that would be it. As for the special package, I can't say it's worth it. It costs 6,000 gems to get the Light Tiger and then all the gold to evolve, obviously. You would have a free Light Gleam if you did stick with the Light Tiger, but probably since like Dark is the end goal, people are going to stick with the Dark one, I guess. Ultimately, it's up to you, but 6,000 gems, that's 10, 10 plus ones. That that is good for at least one hero festival, maybe even two heroes festivals. I know Light, Dark, Nat 4s are kind of hard to come by, but even so, he's not like an overly awesome uh, light dark nat 4. We had the light scubbus packages earlier, and that I can kind of see the justification because light scubbus is a very unique astromon. I was one of the lucky ones that didn't have to spend the diamonds. I randomly pulled a light scubbus a while ago and eventually got his Evo 3 here. And his skills are very interesting 10% allies SP when attacking. This is a very rare skill morale boost. And then we have Adrenaline, which is uh, kind of a sub-healer sort of thing. And she was recently changed to Tank to take more advantage of those skills. I mean, Battle Rush is also very rare, but Morale Boost for the whole team, it helps the whole team, whereas Battle Rush only helps himself. But again, if you do really need a good CC Astromon and you don't have Water Shura, then Light Tiger would be a good option. I still can't say it's worth the 6,000 gems, but... If you really desperately need it and you have the extra gems anyway, then then go for it. We have absolutely zero space for anything, so I'm trying to see what, what we can do here. Uh, the free Tower of Chaos should be uh, happening soon. I might live stream climbing it if you guys would be interested in that. I'm not sure how interesting that would be, but uh, I could do that. Drop a like if you'd like a Tower of Chaos live stream. Also, I know this has nothing to do with the uh, Tiger even, but I had to share this uh, picture I found yesterday on Reddit by uh, the furora i guess sorry if i pronounced that wrong it's called arena defense in a nutshell and it, <laughs> and it it's really funny i'm not gonna read them off here but i'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out yourself i can't even get my free summon because i have no damn space whatever i'm just gonna throw that wolf into that wolf all right nat five here we come i know it's a one to three star egg but if you believe hard enough anything is possible Oh, so yeah, basically guys, I haven't really been making uh, MSL content for a while because there isn't really much to go over. Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are ch I'm actually going to check that out real quick. I have made 146 videos on Monster Super League. Here's the first one back in September 2006, like nine months ago. And uh, yeah, uh, like you can see down here, so many 
about pretty much everything that's in the game. Maybe there is some little, some little tiny things, but now basically the only thing I can really talk about is new things like this tiger package and maybe a patch when it comes, but those have been coming pretty slowly as of recently, so that's what it is. I'd be happy to discuss my thoughts on new patches when they come and, and, and check out all that stuff, but until then, you know guys, I'm sorry, but I can't really do anything with it. So until then, I guess this is what it's gonna have to be. I mean, I could like go into some PvP, but who wants to see me do some PvP? Unless it's like really high level PvP, but that only happens like at the end of the week anyway. Summons, I can continue doing when Hero Festival is on, but that's about where it uh, extends. But at this point, I'm pretty much rambling, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Again, if you want that Tower of Chaos live stream, make sure to drop a like down below. Also, a comment if you have anything to say about this video or the stream. And yeah, thanks guys, as always, for watching, and until next time.